Hey everyone, Nicola Light here, remembering you back into your own light. I've literally just come off recording with Jeff Mara, and I'll put a little link below on his YouTube channel. Um, I got invited onto his um, show to talk about myself with the journey. So if you're moving over, migrating over to sort of check out my channel, this is um, a little bit more extra information for you that I may not have spoken about with Jeff. So welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Check out the links below. If you're new to Light Language, there is a referral link to my um, Udemy course. And also, um, if you want to check out more information on my um, <laughs> website which is nicolalight.com so let me just talk about a little bit more information and I will share it out on my YouTube on my post of um, for anybody else that subscribed in, in the meantime the interview that I did with Jeff which you're going to be posted apparently in a couple of days time but the thing that um, I really sort of wanted to touch on with um, with that particular call was the movement of the body and the understanding of physicality and breath work so I just really want to just sort of keep things nice and simple that you might have some questions as a result of seeing that YouTube clip. Okay. Dalalisia makushu makusu makiten isu kyoto amba kushu makiatan isu makushu makiatan. So as you're going through your awakening process, you understand then that you are more than what you think you are. So in the very beginning of our journey, we think that we're our mind and our body. We're not with the pure essence of our soul moving through our vessel. When we hold on to trauma, we hold it and store it in the joints. We might store it in the shoulders, into the um, into the deep cellular structure, the DNA, however you want to perceive it to be, moving through your blood, through your breath. All of this is stored in our physicality. It's like a, a sense of a data bank that's held within our physical body and also in our energetic fields. As soon as you understand that you are on your journey, that you are waking up to something more than who you perceive yourself to being, you've got questions upon questions and questions upon questions, is then you then start to understand that you are this energetic light being. The vessel in which you are residing in holds the trauma, trauma template or the template of the density that is the perceived idea of the illusionary field that I spoke about in that particular um, podcast. As soon as you can tap into the energy of who you are and you see yourself with your senses, you'll be able to transcend the thought process of the identification of who you are. So you think that you're Nicola in Nicola's body, but you're not. You're so much more than that. And that's what I was talking about with regards to higher levels of consciousness, multi-dimensional aspects through all time and space. The openness, openness of your heart to bring in that understanding, once you start to connect to it, the experience of the expansion of the heart, you'll be able to actually move the energy through your field. This is what I want to talk about. It's the movement of the energy through you from an empowered place. So you can check back on my videos about and the playlist that I talk about how to actually do that. But I'm just going to just do a recap in this video for you. So the movement of this central column of light, the major chakra systems that run throughout your field, is the major entrance of the downloading, okay, it's this beautiful column of light that goes within and without your energy field. When you start to tap into the energy of who you are, passing bypassing the mind and setting into the heart space, you start then to really feel into who you are. 
The body needs to come online. The body comes online when you align to allow the body to do its thing. It has a program, a preset recording program, however you want to call it, to release the energy from your field. But what we do is we think that we are the body, we think that we are the mind, and we hold on to the body, we want to control it by the movement of the fingers, or you know, as we grow up as a child, we learn how to walk and run and play. But what the body wants to do is it wants to come online of its own entity. It wants to come online to clear what no longer serves it. So if you allow yourself energetically to disconnect from the body, then the body will run a program to allow the body to come online. And it does that also with your breath. And I spoke about that in the um, in the, the piece with, with Jeff, is that you, you start to allow the body to activate. Like I said with my Reiki, as I started with my Reiki, the hand started to move. The hand wanted to move, but I hadn't got a sense of control over it. But I observed and witnessed the hand movement. If you find yourself wanting to do this and a sense of wanting to clear the energy field, then do it. If your eyes start to flutter and flitter and the face starts to screw up, let the body come online. It's the face wanting to come online. It's an intuitive perspective. It just happens when you allow it. The body comes online. The other question that many of you may ask is about who am I connected to with regards to the galactics? There does tend to be a sense of a yearning towards or a resonance with a particular star race. And just check in with that. It may be more than one. And if it's more than one, fabulous. You're coming from a multi-dimensional perspective. Some may really resonate, say, with the Palladian. Some may have a plethora of, of options. But to really sort of drill it down into itemising where you're from is only going to go into separation again. So just be open to the understanding that you are everything through all time and space. And your perception of yourself is where you focus. If you focus that you are the light, then regardless of where your orange origins are, you will then manifest the answer to your question if you allow yourself to let go of wanting to see an answer. So if we simplify and allow ourselves just to be, I am from the stars, I am a seed of light in this universe, upon this planet, in a physical body, and you perceive yourself to be that of the light, then that's who you are. Your answers will be shown to you as you evolve, when you are ready to receive the answers. So rather than seeking, 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 allow the alignment of the presentation for the answer to come to you, rather than searching for an answer. It might sound a bit of a cop-out, but it always works for me, is the universe provides when we are ready to receive. So just know that I'm here of assistance if you want to work with me. Check out all of my YouTube videos. At the very beginning, you would have seen my transformation throughout my own journey. But just know, like I said with Jeff, it's really important to be empowered on with your journey. If you have questions and you want some answers, please let me know below and I can connect with you. And I also connect to the video that is on um, Jeff Mara's um, YouTube channel. So from me, Nicola Knight, light, <laughs> night light, it's coming night here for me. But Nicola Light here, I do hope that this video has helped you with just a little bit more information 
about letting go of the body because the body knows exactly what to do and also too many questions into separation and identification of is about separation so just be open to receive when you're ready to receive the information and then all will be well Ela wisi makiata asia negita risia sukyont ufrata kreta risia makiata napa. So I wish you well on your journey, whether it is just a moment and a glimpse of it, or whether we work deeper together. I'm of service. I am Nicola Light. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.